Hello and welcome back to me this minute my friends. So this is kind of how Bits and Fetzel looks before everything gets done and started. So I'm this year a volunteer and I kind of want to bring you along with me. We're going to talk to some startups and kind of see how the event is going, the after party and everything in between. So it's going to be a super fun video. Let's go. So one of the first ones which really caught my eye was Brain Joe because they were like super interactive, you know, just kind of running around with um, and, and, and playing these games. So actually overall in the health tech space, I feel like there were a lot of them which were into the kind of, um, you know, virtual reality, augmented reality space. So you're going to see some other startups, but let's just talk to the founder about kind of what this is all about and what their use case exactly is. Hi, we are Brainshow, I'm Chris, and when I was younger I was diagnosed by ADHD. So my teacher came to my parent and told them that I was misbehaving in class and I was unfocused. And because they didn't know better, they decided to give me um, medication, Ritalin. And also it did really help me. I suffered from a lot of those side effects like um, sleeping um, disorders and depression-like situations. Um, but I found out about a very nice um, therapy called neurofeedback, which is um, measuring your brain waves and um, helping you to get into the flow to learn how to focus. Uh, and this is done in real time, so you can uh, visualize that on a screen. And what we are doing is we are visualizing that in VR. Um, so we are building a therapy um, as a home training in VR. And um, this is going to be very automated and very gamified so the kids won't even notice that they're doing a therapy. We're doing this with great partners like Meta and GTEC and we are super motivated. Um, we are asking for a uh, um, little funding uh, this year around 500,000 um, to, to build the product and to uh, sell it on the retail market because the retail market already exists. and. Um, there is a lot of uh, need for our product. Thank you very much. Oh my God, this was so, so much fun. Like literally I was just kind of running around with this wheelchair and at the beginning it was super, super weird, but then it just, it can do so, so many things. Hi everyone, I'm Martin. I work at the uh, Skebo. I am head of marketing and uh, we are here at Bits and Pretzels to present the Bro. Bro is an uh, electric uh, wheel wheelchair that can climb stairs and balances on two wheels. Uh, we are basically here to connect with the um, MedTech area and uh, we hope to get to know some interesting people, which is very promising so far. And our vision is uh, that we uh, make the world more accessible. So we would like to provide a wheelchair that it's not only good looking, but also can um, overcome obstacles, for example, stairs and uh, other things that are uh, in the daily life of a wheelchair driver. And uh, of course, we try to be as innovative as possible. For example, we have a very nice software that's updated uh, regularly. And uh, yeah, we hope to um, get some good attention here and uh, find some nice networking partners. Okay, so this one was another one which really caught my eye when I was walking around and everybody did, I think, as well, because basically it's kind of you can move around in the whole device and they do loads of other kind of devices as well for the medical um, purpose and you're kind of flying and <laughs> it was just really something that caught my eyes. I think in general all the kind of deep tech and startups were very kind of, yeah, eye-catching at bits and pretzels and yeah, let's definitely kind of find out um, what the use case is all about and talk to the founder. Hello, my name is Michael Schmidt. I'm one of the co-founders of, of Icarus. Um, we are a health company providing a system that is really motivating and helping people to get rid of their low back pain and uh, to remobilize people who uh, suffered from strokes. And in future, we will also work with people who uh, suffer from Parkinson's disease. 
Um, we are a young company uh, still. Uh, we, we've been founded in 2015. We are 12 people. We are very close to Munich in Martinsried in our little headquarter hub. And um, yeah, we've uh, we've been fighting uh, for for healthcare, and we 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 are fighting for um, uh, basically the health of people by uh, motivating them to fly on our systems. And uh, we are providing a digital layer that is so playful that people then tend to stick to working out with our stuff even after their physiotherapy is over. And uh, they, they just turn to athletes. So our motto from patient to athlete. Thank you very much. So overall speaking, I really love the venue. So it was at the Messe and there were like this whole carousel situation outside. It was super, super beautiful. And as you can see, like, I think the, the space is very, very big. So a lot of space for everybody. Hello, my name is Niels Vidal. I'm German, um, but mainly in the US right now. I'm one of the co-founders of Magnify, and that is... I'm Patrick Filto, also a co-founder and CEO of, uh, of Magnify. Um, Dutch. Medify is a direct-to-patient platform which is giving you wide-able building blocks as a pharma company or insurance health plan as a hospital group to really build whatever you can imagine to directly work with a patient. Uh, we built that in web and in mobile and we already built um, from our past company which was more in the consulting space, um, web platforms for patients serving millions of patients already. Optum Store, Mark Humans, Cost Plus Drugs are two of them. Um, they serve right now between uh, two to five million unique users per month and that's where we really feel comfortable uh, in building those fast scaling and highly secured platforms um, for pharma companies, insurances, for health plans uh, in the US, but also now in Germany. So we start with the first uh, couple of initiatives in, in Germany. The first conversations happen. Um, the biggest market is in the US. Um, and yeah, I think like in September, you are going to see a lot of fun stuff coming from us and one of our big pharma clients there. Yeah, and I think from a concept point of view, um, so we do online pharmacy, pharmacies to really disease uh, area platforms for patients and everything in between. What I do like about Bits and Pretzels is basically exactly that opportunity where you meet clients like Big Pharma and like huge corporates, um, but also figuring new emerging uh, startups uh, who could serve as our partners. Uh, as we are not doing the pharmacy fulfillment on our own, we are not doing the telehealth fulfillment, but we look exactly for those partners who excel in that area to curate them from a technical perspective, bring them on our platform and open them to those clients. And I think that's where bits and pretzels are really uh, adding a lot of value for us for the German or the European market in order to find the best of the best during that process. Uh, I think we're extremely proud of, first of all, uh, we are very profitable, we are bootstrapped, so there's at the moment no venture capital uh, um, in the company for now. And the other thing, and that is something I want to give out as a message to other co-founders, it is definitely possible try to do it right uh, be be uh, resourceful and and be creative about your business approaches and the other thing is uh, which I heard a lot was, wait, you're from Germany and your main business is in the US. Yes, don't be shy to look over the pond. There are a lot of amazing companies who look for German engineering talent, who looks for really like the European mindset of work ethics. Uh, think bold, think broader. We need more companies in Europe, you know, which are uh, bold enough to tackle the world and not focusing on their small niche markets. Hi, we're, uh, I'm Lisa, Liza, and hello, I'm Laurence, and we're from Lead Life. Um, Lead Life, in one sentence, is we want to make the switch from uh, curing people to preventing people from getting sick. So, how do we do that? Uh, well, Lead Life offers different measurements. It can uh, 
um, measure DNA, your blood, it takes DEXA scans, also functional movement screening, an exercise stress test, and uh, when everything is analyzed, everything comes back in your, in your lifestyle dashboard, which is then discussed with a general practitioner and a health coach before the customer receives his own results and can then take control of their own health and improve it. Yeah, because when you use Lead Life, the idea is that you understand how your body works. So um, we think that as an individual, you should be able to understand what's going on in your body. If you have like a lack of vitamin D, you should know why you have that. Uh, you should know what you can do about it. You also should have the possibility to evaluate, do I want to do something about that? So. Yeah, it's an individual approach, but then also for like the society, it's uh, we have companies that come to us. Um, okay, we have we see that a lot of our employees they fall out because they have burnout, they don't feel well, uh, they're not motivated at work anymore. Um, we want to know why, and uh, we want to instead of investing in people that fall out and people that get sick, they come to us with the idea. Okay, we want to invest and we want to prevent that people get sick. We want to prevent them from falling out. Hi there, I'm Dhruv Agrawal, CEO of Ether Biomedical. At Ether, we capture and process musculoskeletal biomarkers to improve rehabilitation and make it physiologically data-driven. Across the $50 billion assistive device industry, you will notice that the control and communication layer between patients and their devices is broken. That is, patients are not able to intuitively control their assistive devices, and these devices do not provide any feedback back to the patient. Additionally, because of this lack of data associated with the device and the interaction with the patient, clinicians generally have to focus on randomized treatment approaches. At Ether, we solve that problem by creating a control and communication layer between patients and their devices by utilizing musculoskeletal biomarkers. So at the core of its technology, Ether captures and processes musculoskeletal biomarkers by utilizing sensors and muscle health monitoring algorithms that allow us to understand the electrical activity happening inside the human muscle and use that data to support the rehabilitation journey of any particular patient. Apart from that, we utilize that data to support the rehabilitation as well as the control associated with various types of devices. At its very core, Ether develops three different types of products. We build assistive mobility solutions, which is the actual hardware uh, that a patient would use after having any kind of disability. So in the case of upper limb amputation, which is our target market, that assistive hardware would be Zeus, the strongest bionic hand on the market. Then you've got a device, you need a way to control that device. Therefore, we build control and sensing solutions, which take up data from the EMG sensors or the musculoskeletal sensors, analyze that data, inform the device on what to do, and provide feedback back to the patients. So you've got a device, you've got a way to communicate with that device and control that device, you give it to the patient. As a clinician, you still need to ask a very important question. Are patients actually using the device? And from that perspective, we build training and monitoring solutions, which are our cloud-based software solutions that track the end-to-end -end patient journey, supporting them with physical and occupational therapy, uh, device training, as well as device usage monitoring, making sure that the entire patient journey can be digitized and transitioned into a physiologically data-driven one. From a traction standpoint, we are already a C-certified and FDA-approved device, both from a hardware and a software standpoint. We have already been active in the US, European, as well as the Indian market. We are currently at a 2.5 million annual run rate um, revenue, and we have proven business model, both from a hardware standpoint as well as the software standpoint. From a hardware point of view, we uh, have already been approved by Medicare and majority of the commercial payers in the US, and we are working uh, for approval with various payers within the European ecosystem as well. Additionally, from a recurring revenue-based software standpoint, we have already proven that we can utilize remote therapeutic monitoring codes in the US to generate revenue at a recurring level, and we are going to do the same thing across multiple markets in Germany over the coming months. Um, in terms of our ask, we are currently looking looking for a Series A round and we are inviting investors to invest alongside our existing investors um, to help us build the brains behind every single assistive device in the industry.
Hi, my name is Björn Steiners and we offer a so-called platform BSI Holo Medicine. It works basically with extended reality and as one of those devices we work with, I would like to show you the Microsoft HoloLens 2. Um, yeah, we've had great experience from doctors using our software because we have made it possible to have real CT die combined MRI and much more scans visible with this whole lens 2 device for example within the operating theater it can significantly improve the confidence of the whole surgical team because we can improve the planning procedures but processes significantly enough due to better understanding of the anatomical and the pathological structures behind. We also have many collaborational features you can work together with a whole team but you can also meet digitally in our own developed medical metaverse. In general we want to make the safety during surgeries better. We want to improve the understanding of where a tumor precisely is located so that each surgeon has enough confidence to even conduct high complexity surgeries. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, my name is Jacqueline Katzmeyer. I'm one of the co-founders of Autoscriber and uh, we automate administration for doctors. Uh, more specifically, we automate the clinical note-taking process for doctors. So our software listens in on the conversation between the doctor and the patient. And based on that conversation, we directly and in near real time automatically summarize the conversation into a clinical note in whatever format the doctor wants. Our vision at the end of the day is that the doctor can completely focus on the patient and on maintaining the human element of the relationship whilst we take care of all of the boring, repetitive administration. Uh, the benefit of that uh, next to the fact that the doctor can focus more time on the patient um, or on whatever they uh, like. So there's more time for clinical research, more time for their families and work-life balance. Um, we also improve the data quality in the system so um, we can more easily reuse this data um, for, uh, for research, for analytics in the hospital setting um, and just for having better oversight of patients uh, ultimately working towards precision medicine. So our vision is uh, zero admin for the doctor and um, better health outcomes uh, for each and every patient. Okay, my name is Markus Friedrichs, I'm from Biometric. We are a Munich-based startup um, focusing on the development of digital health applications for effective psychiatric disorders. Um, we are in the process of um, launching our first digital health application here in Germany. Uh, it's an app called ActiSelf. Um, it's almost ready in the development. Um, ActiSelf will be um, using wearables to um, um, measure and stratify um, symptoms and treatment for depressive patients. Um, this will be our first NIGA digital health application. We are in the process of developing uh, another three to four other health applications using the same technology. And uh, at the moment we are uh, looking for uh, investors for the first seed round next year. Um, we are a small team of, um, let's say, science-based founders uh, from the Max Planck Institute here in Munich. Uh, our main aim is to not to replace current psychotherapy, but to um, support the global health system with additional means of treatment, uh, especially for um, the health systems who are probably currently uh, under-supported um, with uh, psychotherapy, um, especially for a major, let's say, issue in public health, which is depression, uh, with so many people um, suffering from depression globally, uh, but also other, let's say, uh, affective disorders or um, disorders like post-traumatic stress disorder, insomnia, anxiety disorders. So this is our main aim. Um, we are here to um, probably support patients. Um, this is our main goal. And um, yes, we are looking forward for, let's say, any kind of contact interest in our startup. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you.
So I hope you kind of enjoyed me walking with you through some startups and I really loved also the kind of events in terms of like the main stage and the deep dives with here with Michael G. Fox and it was super interesting to kind of hear his story about kind of not giving up and, and continuing and being I don't know just kind of using his voice for also the Parkinson's disease and I think that was super inspiring to really see he has a, a good sense of humor really and it was just yeah very very interesting for me to kind of to see that as, as part of my family also had Parkinson's so the room was packed like everybody was just just laughing and I think that's something so interesting to see how even with degenerative diseases um he kept his kind of personality and yeah, it was just just very inspiring to see kind of that speech there as well. And then to the really fun stuff. So I just kind of filmed like this is the after party, loads of people kind of sitting there. I was with manager more people and just kind of there was this pizza and, and everything vegetarian. So it was super, super nice and delicious. So, I hope you liked my little bit of an overview. I really wanted to include more kind of behind the scenes footage, but to be honest, I was feeling a little bit awkward when I was working to kind of run around and be like, hey, I want to film this and this, so I didn't really do this. But yeah, but I was having a lot of fun, I think, for anybody who might be interested in the volunteering, how it works is that you work for around six to eight hours and the Bits and Pretzels health tech, uh, healthcare kind of was two days. So the first day, for example, for me was completely off. And then the second day, that's when I was kind of doing catering support or, you know, kind of helping people. So it kind of depends on what role you're assigned to. So some people do, for example, technical support, some people scan who's going in or, for example, give people their tickets. So they're like a lot of different ones, but I think it's super fun because like I was there with managing more people mostly um, but I saw people from Start Munich, from Start Berlin, um, students who were doing medicine from, from other universities and it was just a lot of fun to kind of connect with them and yeah so I, I would really highly recommend it for anybody there were even professionals there so you don't actually have to be a student to volunteer and then there are also like the matchmakers who really made a lot of the magic happen I feel like because I think sometimes when you go to these conferences, you're like, okay, I want to kind of network, I want to get these people, like either investors or other startups or whatever it may be, but it's kind of difficult because, like, I had like a reason to ask people because I was filming, but normally you, it's kind of difficult to do that intro and they kind of facilitate that whole process. And yeah, there were like so, so many highlights for me. So just kind of seeing all the kind of amazing achievements. I couldn't interview everybody, but then when there were things about, you know, just, just for example, cannabis also, or uh, like in precision medicine or anything else. So it was really, really a lot of fun to do that. Um, and yeah, and, and, I, and I really enjoyed it. And I think also the wheelchair one, like that you could actually climb wheel uh, stairs with the wheelchair. I think that was that was insane. Like, And, and yes, yeah, so I really, really enjoyed it. I think the whole process and everything, so I can really recommend it to anybody. And as always, if um, you like the content I'm doing, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe. That's how we reach more people and, and I can really spread all this educational content. So stay tuned for the other bits and pretzels. I think that's going to be an even bigger event, really. And yeah, until the next video, all the best.